Hi, this is Thunder Yi from BorderWork.com and welcome to our full review of the Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. The 5.0 Galaxy Player is a 5-inch PMP Android-based running Android 2.3.5. So let's take a look at the device um, in Skype right there. Uh, first of all, you can see it's large screen display, which is great for watching videos, uh, uh, movies, YouTube, all that fun stuff. It's also a video charge, it also works very well. You can see the back cover here, um, it's got the 3.2 uh, megapixel camera flash, it does a decent job. But let's take a look at some of the features first of all before we go into all that. Um, <clears throat> so as I mentioned, you know, it's got this large display for watching videos. And of course the stock Android video player doesn't play certain things. So I have Captain America, I have some other things here which won't play. I do have my anime, which it will play. Um, so certain file formats isn't, but just showing you how it looks, you can hear the speakers of the system, very nice. So there are certain file formats it will play. Uh, definitely will play anything DivX. It will play anything XVID. Um, MP4 is not so much. Um, um, H.264 files. Nope. Um, you can download different players that will help you out with that. So that's something to take note. So which, what I did was I downloaded some players here, like uh, the Mobi Video Player and the MX Video Player, and they play certain files in certain ways. So it's all very dependent on that. So for music, it also does a good job of music, so I'm going to play, you can see the music player, I can look at all my albums in here, I can create a playlist if I want to, most played, to so shows all the songs that I've played recently, go to al excuse me, albums, and go into artists, and play the song. You notice a, a trend here with this, is that um, it stretches out, the screen just stretches out a lot of images, and you find out soon enough, but... So the, the sound quality from the sound quality from the speakers are very good. Um, off the headphones, I can I, I have my um, House of Molly headphones here, which are traditionally very good headphones to be like. Just going to plug them in, uh, so you can guys can have a listen there. Sorry, I took that off by mistake. So those are coming from there. So it's got a good sound quality, but you do have to crank it up a little bit. That's the only downside to it. And yeah, you can also change uh, it from, you know, the, the sound of life, so the sound optics. Let me just turn this down for a little bit. You can change the sound optics, uh, instrumentals, tweets. Uh, you can add more bass to it. So on and so forth. So they add different dimension to to the sound quality you get from um, the Samsung Galaxy uh, Player 5.0. It does a very good job of found. Another thing also uh, on the audio segment I forgot to mention is the um, this head back, sorry is the FM radio. So the FM radio itself works of course with your uh, antenna, your headphones plugged in. So I have the headphones plugged in here, and um, I'm just going to turn this on. Uh, it says that headphones not connected. Turn it on. Sure, you guys can hear that again. It's from the speakers. Good quality from from the FM radio, and it works very well. So I'm just going to turn this down. So it does a good job. You can have four preset stations. You can hit menu also. Um, I can play via the speaker, but I actually have to have my headphones plugged in or else it still won't play off the speaker. So the headphone is the antenna. Actually, you can have more, I forgot, my, my bad, you can have more than four. You can have uh, several presets here, um, not just four. Um, you can also uh, switch back here. Um, you can scan stations. I already scanned it, and what it gives you is an all stations. It shows you all the stations in your area. And of course, you can just preset from here, or if you want to preset, you can actually. Basically, so for instance, I go to all, all channels, and I go to like 95.3, which is like a talk station. Um, I can, I can, sorry, I can head back here, 
and I can preset it by just holding down and that's pretty much it so that's the radio function it works well pretty cool uh, nice in general um, so the radio functionality works well um, now you look probably think of video chat uh, I mentioned in the um, in the in the unbox it that you can do video chat through Google Talk. I apologize because you can't. It apparently just isn't possible. So the only best bet for video chat is pr most likely um, through Skype. And um, you can actually video chat through Skype. See if you can get uh, Bowman on the line here. So you can see the call feature here. Initialize the video. Let's crank this up a little bit. Just trying to give you guys an idea of what video chat will look like. I guess Bowman's not around. Um, but you can initialize video chat with Skype, so that Skype is probably your best option, and which is what most people use anyway. But uh, video call is pretty clear. I think also because it's only Wi-Fi only, so you actually get good bandwidth and. Um, Actually, let's accept the video here. Warren called us back. Hey, Bowman. What's up, man? I'm recording here with the uh, Galaxy Player 5.0. Oh, How's it going? All right. All right. So, guys, you can see the picture quality there. You can see how clear Bowman looks. And he, uh, how, how good is the video quality on, on my end? I mean, on your end, sorry. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so that's just a brief example. You can see it works well. The large screen, uh, uh, screen, screen space, the real estate works very well for video chat compared to, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Boom's going crazy with the NVIDIA shirt. So anyway, uh, thanks for calling. We'll call you back after this, all right? Cool, man. All right. So you can... So you can see there, it works out very well. Um, the other things that work on this device, so you know, you have Google Maps, you have the Marketplace, which you can download a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you also have, um, you know, some, yeah, uh, you can, Angry Birds also works very well on this. Uh, just giving you a quick look here, you know, I might as well fire that up and just show you guys how it looks in this real estate. The five inch display works out very well for a lot of things. But one thing I will note on the downside, it does feel washed up in certain areas. Certain, certain things look a little stretched. Um, you know, which can be annoying, but you can see, I just installed it. But you can see how Angry Birds looks here and, you know, very slick and, you know, real estate is great. So I do like that and I do like its smoothness overall. The camera itself, a 3.2 uh, megapixel camera, I can quickly take a picture here. And uh, just to show you what it looks like on screen, it takes very good pictures, uh, especially in, in daylight. So you get a, you know, good, decent pictures. It's got your standard Galaxy S controls for the camera, what you saw in the Galaxy S1, stuff like that. You can look at your resolution, 3.2, widescreen, of course, is 2.4. So that picture that I took, take it again. In widescreen, you know, you get this. Um, so it's pretty nice, very, very cool and good pictures in general. Um, so it's decent, especially for a PMP. Now, you're probably wondering about battery life. Battery life is good. I, you get, you know, full 24 hours plus before you need to charge. Um, the only downside is, of course, if you turn Wi-Fi on about 24 hours, is because your Wi-Fi is always on because you're using the app store and stuff. But without the Wi-Fi on, you get maybe about... Uh, you get you know more than 24 hours uh, with video you're looking at about 10 hours with video in total um, overall I do like it I like the fact that it's expandable memory I also like the fact that uh, just the screen screen uh, real estate is so massive especially for watching video on the go it's like carrying a mini tablet I really feels like a mini tablet um, so it's, it's something you know to take note of and it works very well you got flash um, on the browser so you got your full Android based base browser here and uh, we can go to you know our favorite site border work you know um, and um, it renders um, fairly well um, Skype just ended there Renders a little slower than expected but of course this is actually taking us on mobile site here um, which is probably why it's doing this a little faster but you can um, you do get a good you know good rendering uh, off here mobile site doesn't have any flash on there apologize for that overall but um, in general it's it's very nice it's simple easy to use it's got seven home screens 
um, decent battery life. And you're looking for, if you're looking for a PMP that you really want to carry, and some people ask me, does it fit into your pocket? This is my hand. So basically, my hand just it slides into your back pocket well, and it's no problems. No, it's not an issue. It may feel a little large, but you also know notice that you have it in your pocket. It's a little slippery with a back cover, though. I mean, it's basically it's a fingerprint magnet, but because it's white, you really can't see it. But you can tell it's a fingerprint magnet overall. Uh, you can see the mic here, of course, which you can use for Skype. There, talking with Bowman. Um, overall, it's a good system. I, I do like it. Uh, people might ask a competitor to the iPhone. I mean, I iPod Touch. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, but it's also it's an Android device, and you know, the more cool things you can do with it. You know, I'm sure people will be able to put some ROMs on here and do some other cool stuff. So that's uh, it's a nice device to, to have in general. I'd say if you're looking for a uh, portable media player with a large real estate screen uh, for you to watch videos five inches, this is definitely a device for you. Uh, feels a little heavier, but you can think of it as a as sort of like a mini tablet in a sense. Uh, it, it's really great for watching movies because you get that full real estate in there. I mean, if you're going to YouTube now, you can even see, just pop up the first video, we see old lamb soap. Um, and it goes into high quality immediately because you're watching um, uh, let's let's actually look for some one of the border work videos and see what we get here so you can look at the amaze uh, 4g video here you can see in, in high quality you can just see the, the real estate it works so well for videos like this and it's it's actually good to just watch videos it's a very solid device all in general so if you guys have any questions any comments about the galaxy player 5.0 let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on youtube twitter and facebook it's all border worker 2 o's so this is dundee saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment